Hello friends, I am Leo and I am here to show you how to import any 3D blocks to Home Styler. First of all, I think it's very important for you to notice the official rules that Home Styler staff gave us. There are many, many details, okay? And besides that, there is a video that they made for us called How to Upload Your 3D File. It's a video that helped me understand how Home Styler works with 3D blocks, but it's poorly made. It didn't help much. I spent like a month trying to understand it all. I am at 95% I think. Anyway, we can download any blocks from the internet and put them inside the home styler. I will show you the results before showing the steps for you to import your own blocks, okay? So this is the search for home styler on Google. We have this page our beloved software. This is my 3D model sessions. Look, I have plenty of them already. This table, look, I made a block using this table and these chairs. I will show you how it does appear inside the floor plan, okay? Look, uh, an important detail is that this table uh, and chairs, they have different parts. Look, so you can change specifically the textures you want. It's very nice to notice that because this is very difficult to achieve. This is what I am offering here in this video because it it's too easy to happen the following. You import a 3D model and it goes into Home Styler as a huge, unique mesh. And it's terrible. Can we imagine in this case, if I wanted to put wood here for the table, it would, it would give us wood for everything. It's no use, right? So with this tutorial, you will have these kind of models with all parts separated, okay? This is a render I did from this scene. I will show you the final result. Look how beautiful, how beautifully rendered. This block was free. I got it from the internet. So now that you saw, the final results I will show you how to get there okay so I will take you first to step zero here we are step zero Bec why did I put it as a step zero because it's before the first step you must organize things up okay I will show you my screen now and how I do the organizing. Let's go. Okay, continue now. I downloaded this file which has inside of it a 3D model, okay? So I must decompress this, right? Because inside this folder we have the project files and the textures it's very important that this is all organized in the same place to avoid problems when you are importing later okay so I decompressed it here look polyform artex 3 and the home styler staff recommends us to use the max file uh, with V-Ray. We have the Corona codec here too, but we will use the V-Ray. So we open it and wait a little bit. 
Okay, the file is opened. Now, what must we do as a first step? Here it is. Asset tracking. Yes, asset tracking can be understood as setting the textures, right? This kitchen looks ugly, but when rendered, it will be beautiful. But it needs its textures, and it is block came with textures. You can change it, of course you can. But this is just an example, right? So the first thing, you can press Shift plus T. This window will open, Asset Tracking. Look, everything is, is listed as found. Anyway, you must select the first row. And with Shift, go all the way to the end, select the last one, choosing all lines. Never that first one. You always choose from this one, from this maps shaders, down, okay? Then you click, right click and go to set path. What path is that? The path for the textures, of course. So this is my folder documents, Polyform RTX3 and maps. This is the path I want to use. Now. When I click OK, notice that almost everything went OK. Now this is good. We have one fi file missing. We could try to remove it, remove missing assets. But most of it has OK, so it's good. So now it's time for our step two. Because we need to separate things, right? And because we need to separate things, we will open this group. The thing is, what is opening? Like I wrote there, I can't explain why this is so important, but this helps a lot, okay? So com going back to the screen. Notice that when I click on something, it counts as everything. If I want to delete something, it would be a problem because it deletes everything. So, what should I do? I select everything, go to group and open. When I do that, everything is separated. This is not separated enough for importing. We need a a new step after this one but now you can already de delete what you don't want to import right like I don't want this whole kitchen so what will I do I will delete what I don't want I just want this part okay that's all I want these two I will import with everything I will import it as it is look now it's time for step 3 step 3 is run a script to detach everything the thing is the point is it's difficult to detach everything the only way the easiest way I found to do it that works every time is by using this script I will show you now just a moment this is the script select objects by bitmap text it's free on scriptspot.com okay you can come down here if you download this file it will be read by 3ds max okay it this is a the script when you download it you can come into 3ds max and go to scripting and then run script 
look this is the file I downloaded from that website when I double click this menu appears this will do the magic look I select everything and first click on convert selection to editable poly I wait a little bit it's all cool now I will detach everything I choose everything and I click on detach selected objects okay this is the thing I, c I could do this again sometimes it's needed to do more than once and afterwards you can try and click on each part to see if it's all separated in this case you can see they are all separated so it's time for our last step we have to archive it the thing is going back to 3ds we don't have to save it as anything or export it as anything we have to archive it okay this is the the secret so another thing I am choosing to record it using the 2016 version it's working well for me in Homestyler staff website they say it must be below 2017 I am using 2016 okay so I will create my archive here it will be called archive test f with 2016 archive I save this black screen pops up we must wait for it to go away and when it's gone the archive is here look archive test so the last thing we must do after this after the archive is ready is is to upload it right so the last thing we should do is click on add model 3d model I will choose that archive and put the name on model type furniture on the floor we wait for the upload to end and then click upload to confirm it look we have a green light so I can click on upload well done you have successfully created the model understand now the model is processing we must wait sometimes it takes five minutes sometimes ten minutes the larger the model the more it will take to be processed it's good to press F5 sometimes to refresh it and check if any errors have occurred like you can see until now no errors have occurred so my expectations are that this archive will work and we will test it inside floor plan soon the model is already processed it took more or less 30 minutes and I think this one is lightened it has lights inside the 3d block it's awesome let's test it on the floor planner look the this dude is here my contents upload 3d model here it is the archive test wow 
Whoa, look at it. It's beautiful. Now let's see if it, it's divided. Yes, it is. All divided. How nice. Look. It's perfect. And to end this video, I will render it. Okay? I will put a dark night and a better quality. Let's see how it would be. Let's see. Whoa, look at that. It went lighted. So friends, this is it. I hope you have liked it. I hope you can use this. I still didn't master the lighting thing. Some blocks have lights. Some blocks don't. Some blocks have working lights on 3DS Max. When you render it with Vibray but some some don't i still didn't find the answer but the block thing is shown here i hope you all have liked it i really really expect this to help people from all over the, the world because i know how nice and easy home styler is this could be a game changer for many people. Okay, friends. I hope you liked it. See you later.